Hello students, so I am back with another set of interesting activities related to atmospheric pressure. What is atmospheric pressure? It is the force exerted on a unit surface area by the weight of the air column on that surface or above that surface. Like if we consider that this is a unit surface area, then all the air above this, it is exerting some pressure on it and that pressure it is called atmospheric pressure. So, but we have to see that how atmospheric pressure it is existing. We will see it with the help of certain activities. But before that, let us study the factors affecting the air pressure. There are two factors which will affect the air pressure. One is height of the air column. That means as the height increases above the sea level, as you go higher up on the hills or mountains during your mountain trips, then the atmospheric pressure will decrease. And due to this decrease in the atmospheric pressure when we are traveling on the hilly area when we are rising up on the uh, to the higher altitudes sometimes there is pain in the ear and when there is pain in the ear why there is pain in the ear because the outside atmospheric pressure it is decreasing and our body pressure it is more so that is why there is pressure on the eardrums which will lead to the ear pain Sometimes there is nose bleeding also to some students. So, it is only because as we go higher up on the altitudes, the atmospheric pressure decreases. The second factor is the temperature. Higher the temperature, that means in the hotter places, the pressure will become low. How it happens? Because we know that at higher temperature, the uh, hot air, it rises up. When the hot air will rise up, there will be a low pressure region over here and the surrounding regions which are at the lower temperature, there the pressure is high. So, there is a case that the winds, they will start or the air, it will start rushing towards the low pressure region creating to the winds and storms and this is the reason for the land and sea breezes also. So, let us now enjoy the activities related to atmospheric pressure. So, let us start with the interesting activities related to atmospheric pressure. In this activity, we will see that how much atmospheric pressure is exerting pressure on this bottle. If we can imagine that there is air all around this bottle, then the air pressure, due to air pressure which is exerted on this bottle, this bottle should be squeezed. But it is not happening. The shape of the bottle, it is intact because the reason is this bottle is not empty. There is air inside the bottle which is exerting outside pressure on this bottle. So, that means the inside air will exert the pressure in the bottle towards outside and the outside air will exert the pressure inside. So, that means that will balance each other and therefore the shape of the bottle it is intact. And that is why our body pressure also it will maintain the outside atmospheric pressure. That is why our human body also or any animal body they will maintain that pressure balance that and that is why it is not squeezed. But imagine if we remove the air which is present inside it that means if we create vacuum inside it what will happen then in that case that means there will be no air. When there will be no air inside, the outside atmospheric pressure or the air pressure should be enough to squeeze this bottle that means to deform this bottle. Let's take the activity now. I am using a vacuum pump over here to squeeze out all the air which is present in it. You can squeeze out the air from here by sucking the air with your mouth also. You will see that this bottle will squeeze out. Now let us see what will happen. If I switch on this vacuum pump, so can you see, I am doing it again, so as I am removing it, it is again gaining its shape, right, so that means it will regain its shape when the air, it is getting filled into it. But as we have sucked the air with the help of the vacuum pump, when there was vacuum inside, there was no pressure from inside. So the outside pressure was enough to squeeze this bottle, right? So we will have another set of activities with the help of using the hot boiling water. 
this activity is given in your book that we are using this hot boiling water a small amount of this hot boiling water i am putting this in the bottle why i am putting this in the bottle just this is another method to create the vacuum inside this bottle how it will create the vacuum without using a vacuum pump i will tell you just now see when you have put this hot water into this we will wait for some time over here because this hot water it will warm up all the air inside and when the air will be warm up will be warmed up the temp due to the higher temperature the hot air will rises up and there will be a partial vacuum which will be created over here now let's see what will happen now i am closing this and i will be putting some icy cold water into this tub and now we will see what will happen see we can hear the crushing of the bottle slowly and slowly the bottle will be crushed see you can see it you can check it from here it is getting deformed due to the outside atmospheric pressure so let's move towards the another activity now this is the very interesting activity related to atmospheric pressure what i have taken i have taken this one plastic bottle and i have one i have put one balloon over here we if we want to inflate this balloon we have to fill air into this right and then we have to block this but can you is there any idea that you can inflate this balloon inside and still this mouth will remain this wide open yes we can do this with the help of this simple activity what we have simply done we have created one hole over here so that we can extract the air inside the bottle that means we will be creating vacuum inside the bottle by sucking the air from this hole you can do it with your mouth by sucking air from this hole and here i am using this vacuum pump and we will see when the air is extracted out what will happen the air will start rushing from here to occupy that means the air will start moving from the outside high pressure region to the low pressure region and in that case the balloon will be inflated right so let's see what happens when we will be extracting out air from this so let's observe what will happen have you seen that the i am showing it once again and you can see when the balloon was inflated this was wide open still the balloon was in the inflated state you can see now i am repeating it so how was this possible again the same atmospheric pressure we have created a partial vacuum and then due to low the low pressure region was created and then what happened all the air from the outside high pressure region it will go inside and that will inflate the balloon so so another interesting activity this is a long polythene right so how many breaths do you think that it is required to fill air into this up to up till over here i will say that i require only a single breath to fill this right how you can see see this i will inflate this in a single breath see in a single breath it is inflated the reason again it is because of the atmospheric pressure what i have done there was i have in i have put when i have blown the air over here i have removed the air from here 
right when you have removed by blowing air from the air outside this there was low pressure region when there was low pressure region the air surrounding this from the high pressure region it will rush in towards this and that is why in a single breathe in a single blow it can be inflated now we will see what are the various applications of this atmospheric pressure so in the end we will study the applications of atmospheric pressure they are used in the rubber suckers and they are used in the straws while that means while drinking a cold drink with the help of a straw we use atmospheric pressure and while putting uh, the medicine into the injection we use the atmospheric pressure these are the rubber suckers which are used to fix anything on a smooth surface like we use in the car uh, in the car shades then uh, what happens exactly is there is all over air around over here when you put it and you press it hard on a smooth surface you are actually removing all the air which was present inside this cone when there is no air now what will happen the outside air it will exert the pressure on this and it will keep sticking to this right so because of atmospheric pressure it will keep sticking to the smooth surface because there is vacuum inside right now let us study about these syringes or the straw when you will put this inside the liquid then what you have to do you have to pull this pulley back right if you are using the straw also you are sucking air from there that means creating the partial vacuum when the partial vacuum is created inside what will happen the all the atmospheric pressure which is falling on this wo liquid water or liquid medicine whatever it is then that will press this so hard that it will start rising up into the injection or into the straw so that means due to the atmospheric pressure which was applied over here on the liquid the liquid will start rising on its own into the injection or into the straw so this is how what it it happens now i will show you a simple demonstration to show that atmospheric pressure is very large now there is no air into this there is totally vacuum i am fixing this syringe into this rubber to block this wait i will be doing it again so i have blocked the air hole in the front which was present in the front now if i pull this this hard what is happening actually this when i will leave this what will happen can you imagine it will see it is going on its own back right why it is going on its own back because we know that when you are pushing it there is total vacuum over here no pressure from here right so that means all the pressure is here i am holding it very tight that is why it is not going inside so as soon as i will leave this finger this atmospheric pressure will push it again inside see it is going inside so this is all about atmospheric pressure i hope you have loved this activity thank you for watching